Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ellen and in today's video I am going to be going over what I sewed in March and April. I meant to put up a video for what I sewed in March but it just never happened. I haven't done a ton of sewing in the last couple months just because I've been busy with work and gardening but I'm looking forward to spending more time sewing in the next couple months to catch up. If you are new here and enjoy watching sewing content and seeing what people are up to with their sewing projects, please like this video and subscribe for more like it. Um, I really enjoy sewing and sharing what I've made, so I hope that you enjoy this video. Alright, so first up is the Paradise Patterns Smoltron Dress. This is a bias cut, I believe half circle dress with a facing piece for the top portion. I'll insert some photos. And there are two versions. Well, I guess technically four, but you can combine. Um, so there are two different back pieces. One with um, an elastic insertion, which is what I did. And then the other is a tie. And then there is a short version and a long version. I did the short version. Um, I made this out of a linen-like fabric from Joanne in this really nice purple color. And it was definitely a challenge to sew for me. I don't work with a lot of bias cut patterns. And sewing on the top facing portion um, was tricky. And so there are a couple um, little folds, but luckily you can't really notice them. And it would be even better if it was a patterned fabric, but that's okay. I still enjoy it and I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it during the summer months when it's super hot. Um, it has little spaghetti straps. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy this pattern and I lengthened it two inches. Um, I'm 5'9 and I think I could have lengthened it a little bit more, um, but I really want to make the maxi version next. But my only challenge is I'm not quite sure with the bias cut how I'm going to position my fabric to get that length because even, even if you have 60 inch wide fabric, it I was having a little trouble envisioning the longer version, but I think I'll just have to study the... Um, the pattern layout in the tutorial a little bit better and hopefully it'll make more sense. Um, but I sewed a size 12. My measurements are a 38 bust, 32 waist, and 42 hip. And since really the only fitted part is around your upper bust, the, um, you know, it's not fitted so there's room for forgiveness. Um, so yeah, that is the smulchin dress. And next, I made a floral Easter dress. I was using a simplicity pattern. So originally, I used this simplicity pattern, which is a simplicity 9326, I believe. Yes, 9326. Um, and it's a little bit hard to tell but the sleeve straps are kind of built into the side front and side back bodice pieces. And so I sewed a size 16, which is normally what I sew for Simplicity and McCall's patterns, um, really any big four patterns. And it was horrible. The, the sleeves were, or the straps sleeves were too tight and it was gaping and it was bad. And I was really, Nervous that I was just going to have to scrap the whole thing. But I set it aside and I stewed on it. Um, and what I ended up doing was just chopping off where the straps were. Um, and then I self-drafted a little bit longer of a strap and I shirred it to kind of shrink it down. And I sewed them into the bodice and it fits so much better. Um, I'll throw up a picture and I inserted a zipper. Pretty much everything else is the same um, from the pattern. I really like the kind of A-line skirt with the slit. Um, I basically sewed view A, 
which is the same length as on the model. Um, and I really like it. I will be keeping the skirt pieces from this pattern, but um, probably not the bodice because there is a McCall's pattern that I made last, I guess in February, um, in my last video. I can't remember the um, pattern number, but it has a very similar bodice um, pattern with the, you know, center front, side front, side back, and center back pieces. Um, that works really well. I still haven't made that in a like straight up woven because I made it in that gauze which does have a little bit of stretch to it. So I have to play around with the sizing um, of the bodice again in a just a woven. Um, but that's for another <laughs> another day. Um, and I again I made size 16. I ended up taking um, some a, a good bit of fabric off of the center back because um, I wanted it to be fitted to my torso for the zipper. So again, not really sure what's going on with the sizing. Um, so I am looking now at the size 16 finished garment um, measurement for the bust is a 40, 40 inches, and then for the hip is 47, which makes sense because it flows out, but I don't really have a waist measurement. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> All right, the next thing I made is a new look pattern. It is the new look 6659. Um, I'll insert a picture of the pattern and the dress. Um, I love, love, love this pattern. It is a fun pleated skirt with a slit. Um, and I made it out of a rayon fabric that is very similar to what the model is wearing. Um, hers is blue, but it has those like irregular kind of like dots. Um, and I saw it in my favorite fabric store in Carboro, Mulberry Silks, which is also where I got the pattern. Um, I made a size 16, um, and I lengthened it probably about an inch. I first lengthened it by like three inches, and that was too long, so I chopped off the bottom and um, re-hemmed it. And I shouldn't have hemmed it until I liked where the length was, but that's okay. You love and you learn. Um, I would love to make this again, maybe in like a floral pattern, um, but... Yeah, I, I'm wearing the skirt a lot now, um, and I see myself wearing it a lot this summer as well. All right, the last piece that I made um, was another pair of the Dawn jeans and the wide leg. So I tried to make the Persephone pants again, but it just wasn't happening. Pants are hard. And he, I even had some issues with the Dawn jeans um the back rise was giving me like a major wedgie and uh, it's so hard with pants with like fitted pants to to figure out what what the issues are with the the pattern and how you need to adjust it to give you the look that you want um i researched more and looked at more resources but that's just pants are gonna be put on the back burner for now, or fitted pants I should say. Um, I still want to make the um, Petra pants by Closet Core and really any like um, looser pant or something that's not really fitted, doesn't have a zipper, looks a little bit easier to, um, to fit and something that has a little bit more forgiveness. So we're putting that off. But for the John I did a size 14 and then probably a size 12 in the waist. Um, and I shortened the yoke a little bit and I added about three quarters of an inch to the back rise and then I don't think I added any to the front. But again, it was a journey and I'll throw up a couple photos. Um, they they fit pretty well. I, I find myself like adjusting a lot like pulling them down so they're not like in my crotch um I don't 
really have a camel toe when I wear them, but I just, they're just not totally comfortable. I feel like when you wear pants, you should kind of like forget that you're wearing Kenny because they, you know, fit so well and they're, you don't have to tug at them, but these are not those pants, but I'm so glad that I made them because I don't have anything really like that in my wardrobe and I'm sure I'll still get a lot of wear out of them, I hope. Um, I made them in a denim from um, Joanne, just in a natural color. And that wraps up my makes from March and April. Um, I'm, again, like I said, I'm hoping to get more sewing done in the next coming months. I do have the Lola tank from Stitch Witch Patterns. I'll put it on the screen. I don't think that pattern company name is correct, but I will put it on the screen. But it is the Lola top and dress. It's a knit, um, kind of like narrow, high neck um, tank. And it also can be made as a dress, but I have some navy jersey fabric right here. It's just from Joanne. The sliding is kind of crazy, but um, just a nice navy color. And have that all cut out and ready to go. Um, I still want to make the Anna Allen Anthea top. Um, and yeah, and the Petra pants, like I said. Um, yeah, I just have to sit down and do it. Um, and stop making excuses. So, yeah. That is the plan for the next couple months. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.